Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now this is a, another small cool feature that you could add to your server and this is just following on straight from the uh, quick money tutorial I just did and this one is going to be looking at custom zones for players with ranks. Now I did do a while ago, I think it was in 1.8, how to do how to create ranks so you can watch that um, that tutorial to understand what the ranks I'm talking about so I'm just gonna do a quick uh, create a quick rank right now so add uh, owner owner so and I'm also gonna add member member so that's how basic my vanilla Minecraft ranks work if you watch my tutorial I can show you how to make the prefixes and suffixes for them but that's the basic principle of ranks it uses teams so what this tutorial is going to show you to, how to do is how to basically make custom zones in your world that only certain players can access so imagine this is perhaps a, a staff room so only your staff of your server, your most trusted staff, are allowed to enter. It's got cool information about donators perhaps, who's donated, who you should watch out for, like the hackers. Perhaps, um, let me get a sign. Perhaps you'll have a sign saying known hackers. And then you'll have a list on signs of all the people that are known to hack so your staff can check out this board and be like oh this guy's hacking is he on the server oh yeah I'll watch out for him and you don't want normal players going in here and seeing that because that's just the whole that ruins the point of having a staff room so what we need here and the benefit of having the new command blocks is that it won't cause much lag at all so we want to place down a command block, change it to always active and repeat, so it's always checking. So for this we only actually need one command block. So let me just finish this off to make it look a bit nicer. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you two techniques. In fact, let me just make this wall one bit bigger. I'm gonna show you two techniques to do this. I've shown them both before. However, one is more complicated than the other as I've also explained in another video. So the first way we're gonna teleport everyone in this block with a radius of one, two, three. So that's the easy way, just having the middle block and using a radius because that's three away. Oops. Then this will be three away including that wall. And then same on all sides. And then the more complicated way we'll get the x coordinates well that's the that's the z coordinates the x coordinates and then the y coordinates and teleporting within an exact boundary so radius obviously uses the same in all directions so that would be a radius of one from this middle block however with the uh, the other technique you could have an odd shape yet it will still sense within that odd shape and it is more accurate I guess you could call it so the first way would be TP at A and then we need the coordinate of let's get that block um, now the quick little cheaty technique is just to do slash set block while you're looking at the block press tab a few times and it is the coordinate of that block and then you can copy that so we want those coordinates remember you also need to add x equals y equals and z equals now you can't just do the comma the number comma number comma number doesn't work anymore and then r equals three so that will tp everyone there with a radius of three and we want to tell them to put them here so they're not in the building so let's go 4.5 56 minus 15.5 Zero, zero. Okay, maybe not zero, zero. 180, zero. Okay, yeah, we want them facing out of it. And this is where we can add the teams that we want to teleport. So we want to do team 
equals not owner. I'll tell a problem that. So if your team is an owner, you can't go in. Okay, guys, I just made a stupid mistake there. I I left in the TP my name, so the command wasn't working just then. So uh, that's the simple way how to teleport them out if they're not an owner. So right now, toward object two six space sidebar. Oops, not that. Um, well, basically, I'm on the uh, skill board teams join member. So right now I'm on the member team, so I can't walk in, it just teleports me back. If I go in from above, it teleports me back. And uh, now if I join owner, I can walk in, view the known hackers, walk out, everything's fine. And that's a really simple way how to have little uh, ranked rooms you could do the same with donator ranks have a little room for them perhaps there's like parkour that you want them to have um, and yeah so they can have their own little parkour own little lobby that they can access but no one else can now the other way is almost identical really I'm just gonna put it behind and um, let me get rid of it so instead of doing this, instead of using radius, this is going to be a more accurate thing. So we want to have uh, 156 minus 15, that's the x, y, z, minus 15. So you want to get the corner that is the least in the x, least in the z, and least in the y. So as you see here, I'm standing, if you look up here, my x is 2.3 and if I walk this way it goes up to 6.7 and here my z is minus 13.7 if I walk this way it goes oh sorry this corner you need because this is oh no yeah so it goes from minus 13.7 up to minus 9.3 I was just getting confused with the negatives there and then here I'm at 56 if I jump it goes up to 57 obviously it gets higher as you go up so this one needs to always be active if I repeat two. And then you want to use dx, dy, dz. And x will be starting from this one. This is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be the same the other way. Zero, one, two, three, four, six. And up is one, two. So six, dy is two. Z is 6. Now because I am because I am an owner it shouldn't teleport me but if I go to member there you go it was way more instant because it included this block as soon as you touch that block go into F5 as soon as you touch it it teleports you back. So I guess it's a more sort of accurate thing. It is a lot more precise because it's using exact coordinates. So I could, if I really wanted to, increase the Z to 10. So now even if I'm back here it will teleport me rather than using radius because here it works. Here works and then back here it teleports me. So radius wouldn't work like that because it can't extend more in one way than another. It just goes in all directions. So that's a really simple way of adding ranked only rooms. If you want to watch my rank video, you can click the link in the description. Um, I may make a new one, just an updated one because uh, Minecraft's updated. So you might find it harder to do the um, creating the ranks. Um, and I'll also explain how to do it for servers because a lot of people had confusion on how to access the world um, when they've got it on a server. So I will explain that in the video if I do another one. So if you like this video, remember to leave a like, comment any other video suggestions because I have been running out recently. I'm just doing smaller features. As I said in the previous video, I will be doing more gameplay stuff. Um, so that's really it for this video, guys. 
It's nearly Christmas, so I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Thank you for all the support that I've had, because I wouldn't have got here without you guys. Some of the videos have blown up, and I just I find it amazing how people can support someone so much. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.